Hello class, today we have come to week 13 and lesson 24. Uh, the topic will be Tai Chi form, the 24 short form. And I did a study. Uh, we're going to divide into seven elements for learning Tai Chi form analytically. Number one is alignment. Uh, you you learn the form, you have to do every movement in the correct one. Alignment. So focus your power, your power, your attention to make a technique. Uh, let's see, have a focus also in application, it will work better. Then balance. How do you shift your weight? How do you hold your posture upright? And that posture also include the technique element. Okay. For example, your head here or here or here, and then the partial torso, of course, that has to do with balance. But then your hand, your leg positions, it all has to do with the technique portion. Then you need to watch your eye hand coordination. That will reflect your internal three combination in perform the form with the meditation. Means what? Your attention expressed through your eye height, eye hand coordination. When I look here, my attention goes here. When I go here, my attention. You cannot do like this, okay? That's focus, your mind and your movement. And the movement will include what? Speed. How fast you move your limb or your torso and how the relationship between them. And then each movement connect together will create a rhythm. So you can control your pace and the whole thing, you know, in the controllable, uh, expression of the idea and also in application you know, everything has to be done in the right speed and then you can focus your power speed together to make it uh, delivered correct that's the next one force and chi delivery so if you know where to deliver then you can have a good alignment and then you can control your power that means what hold your strength and with speed then you can uh, meet everybody, every element meet together to a perfection uh, of a movement. And then lastly, you have to remember the sequence of the four, 24 movements. So far, I have uh, given you some idea to memorize the first one third of the form. Remember, you're going to do one slanting fly and two parting wire horse man, and then you have one transition, white coin. And then you have three brush knee three step, one, two, three, and then tradition plan of video. Now you have four repulse monkey. So one, two, three, four. Will bring you up to one third of the four. Yeah. 24, one third done. Just follow that one, two, three, four. <laughs> and it's easy you follow this number and then do the right but you know the technique. Okay? And then after that, you come to the middle. That will include what? Repulse monkey followed by catch bird. Yeah, grasp in sparrow's tail, left side, right side. And then the bird in the sky, you do what? Crow head and the sing wing. That's about halfway. After that, you over the peak of the mountain, you come down for a second half. Then you go into the kicks. The most difficult part that you I can tell you that is like a peak of the mountain, very dangerous. So you're gonna watch your balance, watch your your coordination. You do the uh, high panel horse, you do the front kick, and then you do the knee attack and turn and kick, and then you start an important thing in the second part. Snake creeping down, stretch, spread your leg. It's called uh, uh, it's called the spreading your leg. Uh, put it, spread your leg, stretch out. That's most of low position. The snake going down, your hand is going up, and then two times left side, right side, and you go uh, in between with a golden rooster. That's a challenge in balance. And finally, you come to the last one third. That include what? Two open the window to view the moon, and then search a needle at the bottom of the ocean. And you will be required to perform up to here for final test. 
After that, it's going to be optional. Yeah, I'm sure that you can finish the whole thing. Then you go follow by a uh, fan to the back, and then snake down the cave, and then hammer, and then deferred parry and punch. Okay, and then ending up with what? As if close up and cross up. That's conclusion of the form. So, in the textbook, you can find the sequence of the terminology, the names, and you can follow the trick. One, two, three, four, get to half. And then go to catch two birds, and travel in the air, and halfway. And then after that, go to peak, three kicks, uh, three, one leg stand, and then go snake, traveling all the way to ocean, the bottom of the ocean, searching for needle, and then the rest of them will be option. So I just go cover this uh, requirement, uh, that final sequence, you can review at home and review the tapes. Now we're going to give you some sample about alignment, balance, partial. So each movement, we do it Alignment, when I do a repose monkey, all right, my hand, my leg, they always what? Straight line, you see, straight line. You don't spread to wide open, and then the leg and hand, they go curving and crook. You make sure that they follow the straight line, alignment. And example, different direction. Polymer is made. You go here, and you see that alignment? And then you change and here. So the force, the body will be in one line. That's alignment. Every technique, you have to follow the same principle. And then second one, balance. Balance. The posture, when you start, it's upright. And then when you initiate the movement, you shift the weight when your leg changes. You know, you step forward, you went from here to here, and the next one, you could be what? Change to the other one, or you could be moving to this side. Okay, that's a side step. And you could be going forward, in, that's forward, and go down, and forward. You could go going back, backward. So, there is different direction, you're gonna move, and then you gotta watch your balance. Yeah, you shift your weight gradually, with the knee rotation, continuously, and never lock your knee, all right? And then use your waist to control the limbs, your leg and the hand all together, okay? So that's the secret. The waist is working, not the legs. That the whole, the rest of the body go with it. The postures refer to where is the hand go? Where your leg go? Torso, everything, you have to have what? Idea. They have to be in the right position. You cannot do like this. Uh, <laughs> that's, it's not the correct way. People don't even realize what you're doing. Crow hand is embrace the moon to the side, to the front, okay? And then your hands gradually drifting before your face. That's called what? Drifting, um, crow drifting before your face is called crow hand. So every technique, you have to watch all this alignment, balance, posture, and then these are the more detailed eye-hand coordination. When your eye know where to watch, that's tell you two things. One is that you know the purpose of technique. Uh, well, this is blocking, okay? And this is, this is what? Waving, waving, this is what? Pulling down, or this is pulling. You have to, I love the head, you cannot do it like this. Uh, you have to focus, and then, Speed, rhythm. The technique, uh, if you want to make your body use more, more like one unit, you got to watch your waist is boss. And the hand and leg will what? Will join the, the waist. The waist is not moving, it's a knee. But the waist control the, every part of your body to make them what? In agreement, okay? So you have to watch your speed your hand travel faster than your waist, and so is your leg. And then uh, your neck, everything, you know, roll with the waist. 
And then rhythm means what? One technique followed by the other, there is a pace you want to keep in performance. In reality, it could be explosively, it could be slowly, depend on need. That's why when you play a so-called joint hand operation, they will expect the arrival's reaction or the force and then respond well accordingly. So that is rhythm. Uh, depend on your performing or you are uh, in application. Then finally, the force and all the chi, the force and chi should work together, okay? And the delivery completely and then fast enough or, or hard enough. For example, I do brush in the two step. Blocking, you go here. You can hear that? The force comes from your leg, touch your waist, which you regulate your duration, and then through your shoulder, elbow, wrist, and arrive at the fingertip. If you see people do this movement, go like this one and two, you know that the force did not go through the whole thing. You got here, you watch this. Here, you see? Snapping and keep on going. So the force is what? It's continuously, continuously, and uh, totally controlled, either releasing or absorbing. So that is refreshed from your speed rhythm and your iron coordination and your joints, every joint involved, okay? So when we see people start from the form, they go like this, go, and then go. That is not ready. If you go, breathe in and breathe out. You tell? My fingertip, my toe, will feel the power before I start. Uh, just like you start your engine. Hmm, hmm, and you can feel. Hmm, 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 hmm. Hey, you can shoot your way here. If you go, breathe in, hmm, 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 and then go. Ta -da, ta -da. <laughs> the force was not properly delivered. So every movement, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, and breathe in, and breathe out. Can you see how it connected? Fully controlled. So this part is very hard to, hard to manage, the master. Because you all, you are, you are attending, so you can do a good form, okay? And then the sequence, I have uh, posted uh, one quarter, second quarter, third quarter, this is the third quarter of the form. And the, basically, the whole form already uh, introduced. And many, many movements are analyzed for its application and for its emphasis, you know, area, you should review those tapes more often. And today, I just want to let you be attending to all these elements to make a good form, all right? So review the tape, uh, I guess, with this, this lesson, okay? And then next week, we will give you the last one the last part of the of four quarters uh, tape, and then you'll be ready for the final. All right, that's it for today's uh, uh, lesson 24. See you next time.